So I want to password protect this external drive. So I'm going to just go ahead and plug it into my USB port. And then I'm going to go to disks. And then down on the left hand side here, you'll see this 500 gigabyte HP. Now I've already done this here, password protect. I'm going to delete this current partition so I can show you how we do this. Now you'll see right here it says 500 gigabyte free space. So what I want to do is click on the plus sign here, create partition. I'm going to use all of it, 500 gigabyte, hit next, give it a volume name. I always give it something that's descriptive that I can understand exactly what it is. So 500 gigabyte EXT. So I'll always know when I look on the on all my drives on the computer that I'll know that it's the external drive. And then down here where it says internal disk for use with Linux system, I'm going to select that and I'm going to password protect right here, password protect volume, Lux, Lux, L-U-K-S, however the heck you want to pronounce it. And then hit next. Now I'm going to give it a password. Nothing too extreme because this is just for demonstration. Uh, it'll tell you how, how strong it is. It's fair. So create. It takes about 10, 15 seconds. And there we go. Now you'll notice once it's, once it's done, you'll see that there are two sections here. The bottom one here, this is uh, the full drive. Uh, it's showing 500 gigabyte. And I've used all of it up here with the uh, Lux partition. So 500, 500. So let's remove this drive from the computer. So I'm gonna go over here on the left hand side, right click on it and safely remove drive. So it's gone from the list. So I'm going to unplug it, plug it back into the computer and you'll see it shows up here asking for the password. Now there's an interesting thing here. When I give it my password, I have a couple options here. Uh, forget password immediately. I have no clue why that's even there. That's ridiculous. Uh, I can remember the password until I log out, or I can remember it forever. So what the difference is, if I want this computer to always remember the password, I select this, and then every time I plug this drive in, it'll automatically mount. Uh, now, this won't mount if you take it to a different computer and plug it in. Of course, it'll ask for the password. That's the beauty of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Remember Forever. Type in my password and hit Connect. So that drive is completely password protected. And of course, the stronger the password, the more protection there is. Now, this doesn't prevent anybody from actually, uh, if they found the drive, to format the drive and then reuse it. But it does prevent people from actually being able to extract your information. So that's all there is to password protecting your drive in Linux Mint.